Hello and welcome back to our training series. Uh, today we are going to explore the options of um, the Assess tab. Um, previously uh, we discussed how to create an e-assessment using the Assess tab and today we are going to explore another uh, feature in the Assess tab uh, which is how to uh, assign a specific e-assessment to um, your class. So by clicking uh, on your teacher edition that will direct you to the teacher center. Uh, so the teacher center again uh, it includes uh, many tabs here home plan and present that includes uh, all of your lesson plans manage and assign uh, if you want to assign a specific homework and this is the um, the assess tab um, that has the e-assessment uh, feature. So by clicking here uh, you will be directed to the e-assessment center and as we mentioned in our previous video the e-assessment center has uh, three elements the first one is uh, the test generator where you can create a new test here with the three options that we have discussed in our previous video today we are going to discuss the second element in the e-assessment which is classes and assignments and classes and assignments is the tab that is responsible for um, checking or selecting your classes in order to assign a specific e-assessment to them so uh, by clicking on e-assessment uh, um, on uh, classes and uh, assignments um, first of all you need to um, check your classes here uh, so your classes are um, in in, um, in this area and the tasks uh, that you have created and all of the resources of questions here uh, under the tests so first of all you need to drag uh, your class so I will drag this class uh, those are the previous assignments uh, so if you have any kind of previous assignment so those will be uh, your previous assignments for your students now I need to create a new one so I need to click on your new assignment so you need to name this assignment let's say that uh, quiz 2 um, the second step is uh, to select uh, your assignment or your test from uh, your test resources so as you can see you have many kinds of resources and we saved some of the quizzes and questions here in my tests folder I will choose this one and then click OK now we have chosen a specific assignment for your students you named it um, now you have uh, to go to the third step here which is uh, do you want this assignment to be recorded uh, or to be just a study guide so it won't be recorded in the students marks and reports so those are two, uh, two options that you can select from the category of the assignment you can make it as a final exam you can make it as a homework you can make it as a midterm you can make it as a quiz or a test so let's say I'm going to make it as a quiz and then you can click next here in uh, the ideal situation you'd be having a list of your students included by default so suppose that you're teaching grade 10 you have uh, 27 students or 20 students so all of your 20 students will be included by default here if you wanted to uh, exclude some of them you just highlight the student and click this arrow but in the ideal case you're not going to exclude anyone so you're going to assign this quiz uh, to all of your students and then you will click next now this is step three where you can select the availability of uh, the assignment uh, do you want to make a limit number of times where students can complete this assignment uh, if it's a quiz so it is one time if it's homework or something you can choose the number uh, of times uh, that students can complete this assignment you can also make uh, limits and those limits could be by dates a uh, certain date specific date or uh, a time limit and then um, you can also choose uh, one of these options 
after the students are going to, uh, after students finish their assignment do you want them to check the responses uh, one time unlimited times you can specify the number of times um, of um, checking their responses you can also scramble uh, the questions uh, you can scramble the questions them tell themselves or you can um, uh, you can scramble that the answers as well so this is um, scrambling option and then you can click next finally this is step four you can select options uh, for what to present uh, to the students when the assignment is completed you have three options do not present uh, an end of the assignment report you can present only the assignment score percent you can present uh, detailed report for all responses so you can choose one of those three uh, options and then finally you can click next and now you can click finish and you can find your assignment here after they are uh, your students are done uh, from this assignment you will find those details so um, this is how to assign a specific e-assessment um, to one of your classes uh, next time we're going to um, discuss the third and the last element in the um, test generator part or the e-assessment part which is uh, reporting thank you very much please if you have any question post a comment to this video thank you goodbye